Hello everyone, welcome to Taylor's Tech Talks, and today we're going to be talking WordPress. My name is Taylor Arndt, and I am a freelance WordPress developer, accessibility consultant, and trainer. I've been in the industry for three years now, and I have helped clients from nonprofits to government agencies with accessibility compliance in making websites. We are doing a series called WordPress Wednesdays, and we are going to be building a complete site from start to finish using WordPress. This site will be the home of our Clubhouse Club, WP for All, where we have rooms talking about WordPress, answering questions on a weekly basis. To best follow along with this series, I would recommend you do the following things. If you are blind and you're using a screen reader, WordPress tends to work better using NVDA, non-visual desktop access. If you're not familiar with this software, I will link it in the description, but this is a lot better than using JAWS because the block editor, which is what allows you to edit WordPress content, works a lot better with NVDA and it's just a smoother experience. This is a free screen reader, so there's no additional cost to you, but there may be a little bit of a learning curve, but trust me, it's worth it. Also, I am using Google Chrome for this series. Today, we're gonna to take that a little step further. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be buying our domain. Recall that a domain is like your physical address, and it is a place where people go to see your website online. So we're gonna be buying ours today, and I'm gonna show you the whole process from start to finish so that you guys can see how domain buying works. The first thing that I will say is that domains typically range from $13 to $18 or more depending on what kind of extension you want. Extensions are like .com, .org, .app, .tech, .me, .info, and so on. And depending on the extension you buy is the dependent on the price. So domains typically renew yearly and you buy them from a domain name registrar, like GoDaddy, Hover, Bluehost, Domain.com, one and one so on and so forth. So, where do I buy my domains? Well, I used to buy them from Namecheap, but due to the accessibility problems that Namecheap has presented itself, I have decided to switch to Hover or Google Domains. Those are my two options. Now, when would you use one over the other? Well, I typically use Hover most of the time because Hover, while it is a little bit more expensive, you do get the 24-7 tech support, and that's really awesome in case something goes wrong. Whereas Google Domains, it's a little bit cheaper, but you don't always get that tech support. In fact, you really don't get tech support because Google is really hard to get a hold of, let's just be real. So it's really awesome that I can go up and I can talk to a human 24-7, and so that is why I prefer Hover. So... We're going to be using Hover to buy a domain today, and we're going to buy the domain wpforall.club. So WP for All is our clubhouse club, and so .club will be the extension. So let us grab a browser window. I use Google Chrome, and let's navigate to Hover. So the first thing is we need to be able to find Hover site. So let's go for it. Okay. I'm going to be at the address bar, and I'm going to type in hover, H-O-V-E-R, H-O-V-E-R dot com. H-T-T-P-S colon slash slash www dot hover dot com. So I'm at the hover homepage, and currently you heard all that link text spoken by NVDA. And basically that tells me that I'm at the homepage, and so the first step is finding your domain. And so what you would do is instead of typing wp for all dot club, you would actually type the domain that you want to buy. And if it's already taken and will not let you buy it, basically, if somebody else has already registered the domain, then you cannot buy it unless you try to buy it from them directly. And so we're gonna stick with a domain that we know exists. So let's see, I did some checking before this video to make sure that my domain was available. And you can do this also by going into Hover and typing in your intended domain. It will let you know if the extension you want is available. So I'm going to find my search field by pressing E. 
Clickable main landmark find your domain name edit required in mainland W P P for all R L dot dot club C L U B enter. I'm presented on the hover domain homepage. What I'm going to do now is I'm at the list of options of the domain extensions I can buy, and I have got a ton of them. I don't feel like going through all of those, so the easiest way to try to find the one that you really want is I'm going to press B twice. So if you press B once, you're going to have a main landmark button, unlabeled button, and then you're going to press B again, and you'll have the extension that you hopefully wanted, but obviously we're going to make sure. Add to cart. $13, everyone is a member with dot .club. All right. And what I did there is I pressed up arrow twice. Everyone is a member of dot .club. So that tells me that I'm adding the dot .club extension, which is absolutely great. That is what I wanted. Basically, I used my B key. I found the add to cart button. I pressed up arrow twice to review my selection. That is how I handled that part. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to add this to my cart. And... I'm going to buy this domain, and then we're going to start actually getting stuff figured out. 13 button add to cart. Okay, the domain is added to my cart, and the easiest way to get to my cart is to press insert F7 to find the links list and finding the number 1 to represent one item in my cart. 1. One item semi. Visit domain name search results dash hover dash google chrome dash taylor domain name search results dash hover document button remove from cart link visited shopping cart left paren one right paren what i did is i pressed insert f7 i located the one and i pressed enter currently i'm at the cart checkout page and i'm going to check out i'm not going to show this process obviously for obvious reasons but here's a tip if you can pay with paypal I say this because if you pay with a credit or debit, you may get charged extra because Hover is located in Ontario, Canada. And so that is a good tip. I always pay with PayPal, so that is what I will do now. My domain is currently purchased, and basically I just checked out. One thing to note here is that you will have to accept some terms and conditions. It's a little bit goofy with screen readers, but it can be done. We have concluded purchasing our domain. In the next video, we are going to be talking all about hosting because that is the other you part of this video website. Puzzle. You can do a couple things to stay up to date with our latest videos and tutorials. You can visit the Taylor's Tech Talks website for the home of all of the Taylor's Tech Talks podcasts, YouTube, and blog posts. In addition, if you would like to support this channel, I have a couple ways of doing so. You can support me using affiliate links in the description. Disclaimer. I do get a kickback, but the money goes directly to support the channel and podcast. In addition, you may become a member at taylorstechtalks.com for just $1 a month, and that will get you access to the community Discord server. $3 a month will get you access to honorable mention and the Discord, and $5 a month will get you early access to all videos. Speaking of sponsors and members, I want to thank our sponsors, who are our great members at taylorstechtalks.com. And if you would like to become one of those, you may sign up and join the community. I hope you like this tutorial, and be sure to check back every week for new videos as they become added, and check Taylor's Tech Talks frequently. And if you would like to hear this in a podcast form, you may visit Taylor's Tech Talks on Apple, Spotify, Google, and wherever you like to get your podcasts. I hope you guys have a great day. I will talk to you soon.